Hello everyone and welcome to this Fusion 360 tutorial. In this video we're going through the basics of Autodesk Fusion 360 and if you're interested in CAD check out my little CAD playlist in the info box. So let's jump right in. In the upper right corner you have the motion settings like in all Autodesk products. If you haven't seen the Autodesk 1 to 3D design tutorial, go check it out. This video is heavily based on it. Then we create a sketch. As always, then we choose the orientation of our sketch and we can draw a line. Let's start with a simple line. Don't worry, Fusion 360 isn't slow as that. That's because I'm running a screen uh, capture software in the same time, so it's a bit laggy, but for you it should work fine. Now, oh, let's say I want a radius here. <coughs> so, we drop down and select a radius. I don't know how it's exactly called in the English version, because I'm running the German version right now. Then we choose our radius, make it smaller, bigger, change the direction, what we want. Now we are ready for extrusion. Extrude or hit E on your keyboard. Then let's extrude it by a certain distance. You can simply tape it in, you don't must to select that. Or you can catch that little arrow and slide it in the way you want. Now I choose my direction and here it is, we created our first object in Fusion 360. Now I want to drill a hole in it, because I want. So let's use a circle for this. So here it is, you can draw the center point with a line, but I'm gonna make it freestyle. So yeah, big big, yes, it's perfect. Now extrude it, no, not draw another, extrude it. And now you can add material by extruding upside and subtract material by extruding the other side. What's cool with Autodesk Fusion 360 is that you can go back, make changes with, with this little timeline or simply uh, change things in this little drop down right here. If you're new to my channel, make sure to check it out. I make not only CID and 3D printing stuff, but also other inventions, DIY projects and tricks. I'm currently working on a home automation and an Iron Man suit project, in which I'm gonna design and hopefully build a working Iron Man suit. 